Hello, friends. This is Music Man from His Man Cave. I know, I'm sorry I've been away a while. Uh, I had the symphony for a couple of weeks. I mean, I had those end of the school programs that I had to put on. And uh, finally, uh, yesterday I had a bunch of uh, last minute things that I had to do, get things ready uh, for us to head out of town to family and friends. So now I can finally talk about Christmas. Christmas. And. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Let's talk about it right now. So, first of all, I am not a Scrooge. I'm not. Um, I enjoy this time of the year. Uh, one reason I enjoy it um, is because you get time off from work. You know? So uh, a bad day, it's kind of like a bad day of fishing is better than a day at work kind of thing. And so uh, uh, being harassed during the holidays is much better than being at work all the time. Although I enjoy my work. I, I really do. I enjoy working with uh, teens and uh, the work that they do and, and uh, all the things that we accomplish. And they are progressing very nicely this year. So Christmas, is it the most wonderful time of the year? Well, for me, it is. And I can tell you why. Number one is because um, I realized that I do celebrate that uh, a time period happened. A time when uh, God gave up his glory and became a human being. And he then went to the cross. Uh, that, that's a wonderful thing for all humanity. Um, yes, I do believe that Jesus was the Messiah. That he was the Son of God. And that, that is what this season is really all about. It's about uh, being happy and joyous and being um, cheerful because we're all saved. We've all been saved. God saved us. However, the fact of the matter is Jesus was not actually born in December. He was born sometime in August, September because uh, the shepherds were watching their, sh their flocks by night. So uh, uh, if you study... Israelology, you'll discover that uh, Christmas is just a made-up holiday. And it's just it's the time of the year that we celebrate it. It fits in with a lot of pagan holidays that, that, that were happening back in the time, and they needed some uh, substitution, and they found their substitution in Christmas. You know, the god Easter, Mary, and on down the list. Jolly old Saint Nicholas uh, became a substitute for, you know, and, and on and on and on it goes. The tr Christmas tree came from the Druids, uh, who put trees in there and worship trees in their house. We don't worship trees. I enjoy trees. I think they're cute and they're fun to decorate, but I don't, uh, I understand where it came from. And a lot of this stuff is a, is a conglomeration. Do a study right here on um, Wikipedia or whatever, where Christmas came from, where Santa Claus came from. There is no Santa Claus. He was made up. There's a jolly old Saint Nicholas. There was no Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. There was no Abominable Snowman. There was no Misfit Toys. There was no uh, Frosty the Snowman. There was none. Uh, there was no Grinch. It was all made up. Um, and so, uh, and I, I can go. Where, I can go along with the magic show. I can go along with the party. But um, it can become a very miserable time for you financially if you buy into all the hype and the commercialism. Because Christmas was never intended to be commercialism. Well, they gave gifts to baby Jesus. Well, I'm um, actually, if you need to study the gifts that they gave to Jesus Christ, uh, the last gift was a gift for death, myrrh. So uh, I think that's the gift you should give somebody. Something for them as they die. That'd be a really happy gift to give somebody. Say, here, I'm giving this to you as something for your death. I mean, we need to follow the Bible to the letter, don't we? Just a little humor there. I'm just telling you that uh, Christmas has become very commercialized. No longer is it a, really a Christmas holiday. It's become very secularized. When I mean secularized, I mean the things I was just talking about. I mean it's, it's turned from uh, us being joyful and loving our family and, and, and taking a moment to reflect on the year and, and talk about you know what's really important to us. And it's turned from that now into putting a bow on a Lexus and giving it to our wife. Sick, sick, sick. Or buying a house, because it's the perfect time of year to go out and buy a house. Or use your credit card. I saw, read that in Consumer Reports yesterday. Use your credit card. They're encouraging you to use your credit card. 
when for me, using a credit card is a bad idea. I can't handle it. So, um, how do you stay out of that? How do you, you know, enjoy the time of the year? Well, for me, there's some, I'm going to give you guys some ideas about how Christmas can be the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, for me, I don't feel there's any obligation for me to buy anything for anyone. Now, if I'm walking through Radio Shack, like I was the other day, and I saw this little Christmas tree about this big, and I realized my uncle did not have one, it was $2.99, and I thought, you know, I'm going to play a gag on him. I'm going to tell him I went and got him a tree, because he does not want a tree. Um, he's lost his spouse, and he's not really in the Christmas cheer mood. So I came into his house, or his assisted living center, and I said, I got you a tree. And uh, he was like, well, we're going to have trouble. And I said, and then I went and plugged the little tree in and hung it and stomped it onto, you know, his little stompers, stomped it up there, and it's glowing red, green, and all these purple and blue colors and everything. And he was like, ha ha. Now he's actually plugging it in, and he's enjoying it. Well, that that two ninety nine gift meant more to him than if I'd have driven up with a bow, or with a Lexus with a bow on it. And that's what Christmas should be about. It really brought him hope. It brought him some cheer. It brought him somebody's thinking about me. Somebody cares about me. That's what Christmas is supposed to be about. It's not supposed to be about, uh, you know, one up and one another. And oh, you gave me a gift, and now I feel obligated to give you a gift. No, uh, people give me gifts, and I say thank you very much. That's wonderful, and I do not reciprocate. Uh, that might sound horrible, but I do give gift to somebody else anonymously, and I don't expect them to reciprocate. You know, that's the way that it should be. I don't want people reciprocating, and so. Um, the bottom line is, is when you give a gift, you have to give it with the right attitude of the heart. So we'll continue on now in part two about Christmas being the most wonderful time of the year. I believe it can be. And I believe it also can't be. Sometimes it can be a horrible time of the year with the wrong attitudes. We'll discuss that uh, today. And I hope you enjoy some of my thoughts. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. And Merry Kwanzaa. Coming at you.